Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be going over Niagara Flipbooks in Unreal 4. So flipbooks are basically just textures that you have multiple frames on, and they're usually a symmetrical grid, something like 4x4, 3x3, and they're also very closely related to something like a sprite sheet or atlases. So to get things started, I've imported a texture that has a 4x4 grid. It's just numbers going from 0 to 15. Now before we look at the emitter, we have to set up a material first. So I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go to materials and textures. I'll make a material, call this M. I'm going to just do FB for flipbook. I'm going to open that up. Now you may be tempted to just add a texture node in here, but we don't actually want a texture node. Instead, we want something that's called particle sub UV. So we're going to choose this particle sub UV. This is kind of just like the texture node. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to convert this to a parameter. I'm going to just call this T flipbook. And in here, this is where we'll put our texture. This is where we'll put our flipbook texture. Now, to set this up properly, we also want to add a particle color. And we're going to multiply. We're going to get two multiplies. We're going to multiply the flipbook color by the full particle color. I'm going to plug that into emissive. And then, once again, depending on the texture that you're using, you would use all the pins or the alpha. But I'm just going to take the RGB, I'm going to plug that into multiply, and then I'll take the particle color, alpha, plug that into multiply, and this is going to be our opacity. The last thing we need to do is we need to set our blend mode to translucent, and I'm going to leave the shading model at default lit. I'm going to save that, and now I'm going to right click on the master material, and I'm going to create a material instance. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to go back to our content browser, and we're going to make that emitter now. Niagara emitter, and I'm going to make an empty template. NE flipbook, and we're going to open that up, and I'm going to go down to the sprite renderer, and I'm going to apply my material instance right away. Now we're going to come back to the sprite renderer in one second, but I want to get my particle system fully set up first. So I'm going to go to emitter update, and I'm going to add a spawn and spawn burst instantaneous. I'm going to set this to 1 and I'm going to go to the emitter state. I'm going to change this to once and fixed. Zoom in here and now we can see that our material is showing up but it's just showing the full grid. The next thing we want to do is we want to come to initialize particle and I'm going to set the lifetime to the amount that I have here. Right, So there's 16 in total. I'm going to set that to 16 I'm going to zoom out on my timeline. I'm going to move the preview end to 16. And now I'm going to go to the sprite renderer. And in here, you're going to see sub UV. And what you want to put in here are the grid numbers. So this is a 4x4 four four grid. Maybe it's different in your case. When you do that right away, you'll see, you see the very first frame of your flipbook. If I play this, it's not moving. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go to particle update. We're going to hit plus on this and we're going to look for sub UV and we want sub UV animation. And in here you're going to see number of frames. And of course the number of frames that we have is 16. So now we're going to try and play this. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So this is working. This is exactly what we want. Now. What's interesting about this module, this sub UV animation, is that these frames are based on normalized age. And normalized age is based on the lifetime of the particle. So right now you can see that this is moving one by one. It's actually lined up to the seconds. So if you wanted to increase the rate of this, we just have the lifetime. And now, within the span of 8 seconds, it's going to go through all of those 16 frames. We'll have it again. And it's moving through those frames faster. Now, right now, everything is playing in order. If you wanted these to be randomized, you can go back to that sub UV animation. You can click on sub UV animation mode. You have an option for random in here. 
Now, like many things, this is just one approach to it. There are other ways that you can make this happen, but this should cover Niagara flipbooks. All right, guys, if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.